Hey everyone, I think it's time to finish the second playthrough of Elden Ring, i.e. the Sorcerer playthrough. I don't know why I put it so weirdly. Uh, yeah, we're back here at the final boss, Sis. Let's just get this show on the road. I think I've been doing some experimenting and I think I have a pretty reliable tactic, at least for Radagon, which does involve summoning the boys. And it goes a little something like this. You summon the boys and you let them draw aggro. I said... I said yes. Terra Magica. Oh fuck. Okay. Pop the flask and blast this motherfucker. I said blast this motherfucker. God, that worked a lot better last time I did it. Um, but anyways, it still kind of works. So, yeah. Took a bit more MP. It does depend a little bit on RNG. RNGesus, as they call it. On what he's actually going to do. How he's going to move. But you can like really blast him uh, if, you, if you want. As you can see, that is very easy. Uh, and it is... D tactic for Radagon and now it's just Elden Beast. And Elden Beast man is gonna take some time because this fool has a lot of HP. So yeah. But I think my carry and slicer and the three flasks should be just enough. It's just, of course, annoying that he runs around so much. I still think, I fully subscribe to the theory. You guys know what the theory is that, you know, people think that... Oh, fuck. How did I not dodge there at all? People have this theory that you were supposed to have Torrent here and FromSoft just forgot to enable him and now they're too embarrassed to admit their mistake. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? I thought he was doing like a forward breath attack. Jesus, this boss sucks, man. <laughs> this boss sucks. Uh, yeah, I fully subscribe to that theory that they're just too embarrassed to... Uh, admit they fucked up and put Torrent back here. Because, I mean, like, even the Elden Beast's attacks seem like they are designed, like, to be avoided by Torrent. Whatever. It's just crazy. Oops. Anyways, let me show the Radagon tactic again. Oops. I fucked up a little bit. It's all good. The best situation is when he's surrounded like this because uh, he actually has trouble moving. And as you can see, um, that is <laughs> that is some crazy shit. Uh, that is some crazy shit. That's all I can say. Now, of course, this fucking Elden Beast is... ...way bigger of a problem than Radagon. Is he going for the... What the fuck are you supposed to do against that? Jesus. All right, another try. You just really gotta pay attention to that attack. Uh, and it's a lot more difficult. Okay, there we go. I thought he was gonna cancel it into something else. 
I was just gonna say, um... It's a lot more difficult... Oh, what the fuck was that? He one-shot me. Alright, here we are again. And... Somehow I am... Unable to get any closer to uh, actually beating this thing. My first attempt was still the best one. Yes, please go for the sword attacks. What is he doing? Oh, is it the rings? Yeah, it is. Thank fuck he focused on the others. This boss sucks. Oh, why is he there? The problem is, like, these Great Shield Hollows are fairly slow, so I don't think they're gonna, like... What the fuck, I hate this boss. <laughs> I keep saying that. But it's truly... I... passionately dislike the Elden Beast. Passionately. Like... It's my second favorite hobby. Oh no, it's doing that. Apparently they've made this thing easier to dodge. Oh yeah, I can definitely see that. I still, f I still find it bullshit that he can cancel that into that ranged attack. That is like completely different timing. Ring attack. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. I'm okay with that. Where is he? Oh yeah, of course he's... I'm stupid. He's up there. What the... I'm gonna be honest with you, the only saving grace of this entire encounter that we have is that Radagon is so easy with the strategy because, believe me, if I had to struggle my way through Radagon every single time after the ways I've been getting killed by this thing, I think I would have quit uh, like about three attempts ago because this is absolutely god-awful. The fact that he fucking teleports behind you, nothing personnel kid, and blasts me with a two hit combo from the other end of the screen. Like, again, where the hell is he? See, he's just behind you. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, a few less of the boys survived. Actually, none of the boys survived. Don't know why. It just turned out that way. I mistimed it. Is he going for that again? Are you kidding me? Come on, just let me hit you, please. What is, the, what is that? It would be really nice if I could actually hit the boss I'm fighting. Because I've not been able to do that for like the last 
uh, like 30 seconds at this point. Thank fuck for that. I'm actually dealing damage. Elden stars. Oh no, it's this. This is Elden stars. Yep. <laughs> this is a joke of a boss. I'm serious. This is such a joke of a boss. Did it just seriously grab me? It's gonna be an insta-kill, isn't it? It's an insta-kill. It's almost an insta-kill. I'm very surprised that's not an insta-kill. Anyways, here I am. Uh, you didn't miss anything interesting. Just me talking mad shit. I don't know what the hell is going on. Please go for something easy. Yes, thank you. And the boss is only halfway dead. There's so much that can go wrong and so suddenly. Oh, it's Elden Stars. Are you fucking kidding me? Why can he... Why can he cancel that into other attacks? Someone tell me. I mean, th this is insane. Like, the level of visual noise that is on screen is just unbelievable. Which one is that? Okay, that. This is actually the closest I've ever been to killing it. Rank attack. Oh my fucking god. What the... Why can't he instantly cancel that into something else? Is he actually taking less damage than before? Like, he was taking, I swear he was taking more damage from my attacks. Do his defenses increase as he's dying? Wouldn't put it past this boss. Just fucking die. Thank you. God damn, this is. <laughs> Holy hell, is this boss terrible or what? Man. Awful. I did not enjoy a single moment of that. And again, just the thought of. If, again, if Radagon wasn't so easy having to go through this every single time. I don't even know, man.
I don't even know. That that would be just absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. I know we can warp out now and not do the ending. We could go for one of the other endings. Actually, I think you can still go back to other stuff, right? We're gonna do the ending. Um, I didn't do Rani's questline or any questline, but Rani's and the other one is probably the most interesting one. Anyways, here's the ending. The other ones are just the recolors. Um, I'll do one of these endings, the other ones, one day, but, you know. That is a good outfit for this ending, I feel like. It's... It's boss enough. I think I nailed the outfit on the previous one, too. Cool, and that does wrap up my second playthrough of Elden Ring. Now, of course, it's still possible to go back. Um, I know people are going to be asking about Melania. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I might do that off screen, I'm not going to do it as part of uh, the actual episodes. The main reason being you probably saw that update video I made about the future of the channel and my feelings towards uh, these types of gameplay walkthroughs that I'm doing currently. Basically I just want to move on to the next phase where I make like more in-depth review type videos uh, and spending another seven episodes trying to get to Melania and trying to beat her is is not gonna be something I will do. Combined with the fact that I'm going to be 100% honest with you, uh, I still don't enjoy this game as much as many other people. Uh, this is second playthrough now and I have a third playthrough which I just started just to kind of mess around and try stuff and this game gets a lot right. It's a fantastically put together package but I just don't enjoy this game enough uh, and have several key frustrations with it which really makes me think that I'm just not in the mood to struggle with an even more ridiculous even more insane even more difficult boss ie Melania again I might just if I'm bored I might just do it uh, off screen anyways my thoughts on the whole game and everything will be summed up uh, in sort of like a summary video, not even a summary, it's gonna be a second review which should be coming out in the next couple of weeks and there I will give you like more reasonings and everything because again uh, I have issues with this game and yeah that's just gonna be it I still really enjoyed playing as a mage, the magic uh, system is actually fairly fun in this game, actually it's really fun again I really like that finally we have a wide range of useful spells you know it's not just like you get more and more powerful versions of soul arrow and that's like the only thing that actually is worth a damn like in the other souls games you know like carrion slicer uh the other one the great blade 
finally we have a magic system with variety. The buffs are useful, like uh, Terra Magica and all this. So the magic system is really fun, and plus you can steamroll the game with it. Anyways, I think that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this second playthrough of Elden Ring, the Sorcerer playthrough. Thank you guys very much for watching, hope you did enjoy, uh, and again, I hope to catch all of you next time on whatever video I do. Take care everyone, and peace out.